What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video where today it's a pretty exciting video because I'm taking a look at the Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 1978 poster knife. So let's go ahead and jump straight in. Okay, so from what I've seen of this knife, honestly, when I saw it on the Mad About Horror website, I just had to get it because it's one of those like items that it's so unique. Just like Trick or Treat Studios, who makes this product by the way, they did not have to go ahead and make this, but they did, which just shows the dedication to the Halloween fan base. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing out and take a closer look. All right, here you guys go. Here is a look at the knife, Halloween. Now, obviously the most unique thing about this knife, it is curved, like this thing looks incredible. It is based off the famous poster of it from Michael Myers stabbing the pumpkin. Well, anyway, Michael stabbing that kind of looks like a pumpkin. I always thought it was a pumpkin, like a weird shaped pumpkin, but it is him stabbing a knife. Okay, so I'm actually really happy this came in a box because the Halloween Ends knife, which is up there, uh, it didn't come in a box, which I was kind of disappointed about, but honestly, that's okay since this it seems more of a collector's item than a like a party or a costume prop, but you can use it for anything really. And on the back we get this, here's the back, we get the Halloween logo, and a really cool, the night he came home with Michael Myers stood on the stairs. Uh, here's the disclaimers, designed by Josh Lutman, hope I'm saying that right poster knife and yeah looking really cool without further ado let's go ahead and get this knife out and take a closer look let's sink you there we go and this knife is awesome looking and here it is wow i think that just slips out it's really well packaged i will say Oh, okay, it's right there. Okay, don't need to get this out. Look at this. I mean, this is like one of those things that like you just need if you're a Michael Myers fan. It is not sharp at all. Just like give you guys a disclaimer, it is fully plastic. Uh, one of those crazy novelty items that I feel like I just needed. It's such a cool looking knife. I mean, I was tempted because I'm making this uh, Michael Myers fan film to sort of uh, show off my filmmaking skills, how year after year I always do one. I was tempted to throw this thing in and like confuse like the audience because obviously if Michael starts running around with this, it's sort of like, what is going on? Cause it's one of the funkiest looking knives if you use it as a regular knife. Cause you can't, you can't cut with this, obviously it's curved, right? But I feel like for the poster, I definitely have to use this because it's too cool to pass. There's a look at the awesome knife. I'm just so happy with it. Let's take a closer look at the handle first. Okay, so it's a painted, I think piece of plastic, painted just like the knife that he uses in the film. There's a look at the painted on, there's a look at the handle. It's all plastic, I believe. And then the rest of the handle is this really nice plastic, which feels pretty solid actually. I don't think that you're gonna like you're gonna break this by like actually stabbing it into something but I'd be pretty careful anyway. There's a very cool look you can see the, the logo back there. Definitely one of the coolest items I own. I'd love to do like I said my own photo shoot with this and try recreate the the photo. I'll give it a go and if I get any good results I'll post it onto here. But yeah here's a look at the knife. Um it's very nice quality like I said very nice firm fitting handle. Uh, I'll probably get this framed or something, but I think I'll just keep it in the box since it has some very nice cover up. There's the poster itself, you can see how he like held it. Like that. Uh, I don't know if the one they used for that poster was like one like this or just a work of art, like a painting or a drawing or something, but my guess is the painting, but I still love how Triple Street Studios made this because like, it's just such a cool looking knife. 
a very nice piece. I'm very happy with this. I think it's definitely going to look awesome displayed on my room, or in my room rather. Um, you can check out my review for these guys. Uh, I'll link a card or something up. But as for the knife, I love it. Um, I definitely recommend this. Out of ten, I give this thing a solid ten because you can't go wrong with it. It's one of those things that, like I said, trick or treat shoes didn't have to make this, but I think it's such a nice novelty item to get. You sort of just need it if you're a Halloween fan. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Really hope you guys did enjoy. I think I got this for twenty-five pounds or so off. Um, Man about horror. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to go get this. I'll also leave a pinned comment for those of you who want to go get this as well. But yeah, very nice looking knife. Very happy with it. And yeah, it's going to look awesome with a Michael Myers uh, costume. If you want to do it for a costume, I think you probably can get away with it. Because I think people will know what it is. My only guess is people will ask, why is the knife bent? You can just explain to them. It's from the poster, but yeah. Very nice piece. Very happy with it. I hope I managed to inspire you to get one of your own, if you were thinking about getting one, because yeah, very nice looking knife. It's second to my number one favorite trick or treat knife, which is the, which previously was the Halloween Ends knife. But after seeing the Halloween Four knife, it's got to be that one. That one's just awesome looking, but this one is a very close second. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next Halloween video. Happy haunting.